Welcome to our daily devotion. You are here today to hear the Word of God with His message, promises, command, warning, and application for us. Faith is to believe God's Word is the very essence of receiving the promises that He says we can have. As the scripture says in Romans chapter 10 verse 17, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. It gives us knowledge on how faith comes, by taking in God's Word. Our word for today is taken in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Message as we have the Holy Spirit in this life let us continue to see the fruit that he should be bearing in this life. This life should now be filled with love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. All the things of the Spirit should manifest in this life. If there is anything lacking ask God for help and allow the Holy Spirit to completely work in us that all these things would manifest and be seen in this life. The lovely characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit stand in sharp contrast with the ugly features produced by works of the flesh. While man's carnal behavior exposes an inner self c e n t e r d n e s s mixed with a casual disregard for others, the deeds carried out in spirit and in truth identify a man or woman whose life is abiding in Christ and yielded to God. The fruit of the Spirit is an inner grace that is produced in a believer who is submitted to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, so that the life lived becomes a lovely reflection of Christ's singular nature and godly character. The heavenly fruit in Galatians 5 is only produced in a person who is continuously being cleansed from all sin, and walking in fellowship with the Father. Each of the nine individual qualities that are listed as the fruit of the Spirit, and their genesis in the fountainhead of God's sacrificial love. The triplet of love, joy, and peace demonstrates an inner quality that permeates the entire disposition of the one that is producing this fruit of the Spirit, as they grow in grace and are being conformed into the image and likeness of Christ, through the power of the indwelling Spirit. The trio of patience, kindness, and goodness are predominantly attributes that are displayed in gracious conduct towards other people while the trinity of faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are hidden facets, deep within, that God alone can truly discern. The fruit of the Spirit is not made up of nine, unrelated character traits, where one Christian shows one particular attribute while being severely lacking elsewhere. There are not nine separate fruits of the Spirit that may or may not be manifested in a believer's life, but one indivisible fruit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Promise, although indivisible, love has been listed as the first fruit, not from importance but as the foundational requirement from which the other spiritual characteristics flow. It is not the human love we enjoy from parents, children, spouses, and friends, but the sacrificial love of God that can only be manifested from the Spirit Himself. It is a sacrificial love, whereby we give up ourselves for the sake of others and for the glory of God. Spiritual J.O.Y. is from the Lord, and gives strength and rejoicing, even in the midst of problematic and painful circumstances, 
while spiritual peace is inner tranquility and godly composure, that is free from anxiety through faith in God's word. When provoked it is patience that demonstrates a gentle calmness of spirit, while kindness shows sincere consideration for others that reflects the compassion of the Lord. The goodness of a spirit-filled Christian is often demonstrated through gracious acts that put others before themselves while faithfulness is seen in the godly individual who exhibits unconditional reliability. The saint who shows gentleness is one who has sacrificial care for another without being a cowering weakling and the Christian with self-control is not easily provoked because they die to their own desires and indulgences for Christ's sake. While some people are adept at perfecting certain of these spiritual characteristics in their own strength, the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control can only be genuinely manifested in a spirit-filled man or woman. Command While the fruit of the Spirit is a discrete list of nine specific godly qualities which can be individually defined and described separately, they must be recognized as one integrated and interlinked whole, such that when one quality is absent, then all qualities are absent, and when one quality is displayed all must be present. The only way that the fruit of the Spirit is manifested is through a life that is consecrated to God and submitted wholly to the Spirit. It is only as we grow in grace, become mature in the faith and keep a short reign of sin in our lives, that we will produce the spiritual fruit that exemplifies the Spirit-filled believer. Only as we live and walk and pray in Spirit and in truth, will our lives produce this singular fruit of God's Holy Spirit, and we will be equipped to say with Paul, It is not I who live, but Christ, who lives in me. Surrender and allow the Spirit to take full control. This is easier said than done. This requires the total surrender of this life, for with this life comes the sin that it has and without it comes the space for the true life to come. This life can only contain one. It is either we love and hate the other. We cannot have both in this life. Come to God and ask for help for this journey is not an easy one. Warning! The fruit of man's sinful nature bears nothing but rotting sadness and sour pain, and the ethical character and political correctness of a believer who is straining to live up to certain socially acceptable moral standards in their own strength will similarly produce nothing but the bad fruit of the old sinful, atomic nature. The nine graces that together comprise the single, fruit of the Spirit, combine to display a perfect portrait of the Lord Jesus himself. Each of the nine individual qualities that are listed as the fruit of the Spirit, and their genesis in the fountainhead of God's sacrificial love. The triplet of love, joy, and peace demonstrates an inner quality that permeates the entire disposition of the one that is producing this fruit of the Spirit, as they grow in grace and are being conformed into the image and likeness of Christ through the power of the indwelling Spirit. Application Seek the Spirit without any baggage. Allow the Holy Spirit to manifest in a life that is surrendered and empty that his fruits would all manifest. True surrender as shared in a previous post is hard and would need more time to seek for as of now I personally have yet to do it and am praying to be able to surrender that way I should. This very lives wants need and desires sometimes hinder the Spirit from manifesting in this life. Rebuke this life and let not it be a hindrance for the glory of the Lord in this life. Let's pray together, Father, 
I desire to reflect the nature and character of the Lord Jesus and to show forth the fruit of His Spirit in my life. Prune away all those areas in me that are inhibiting the growth of spiritual fruit being produced in me, and may I grow in grace and do only those things that are pleasing to you, for your praise and glory. Thank you for pouring your love into our hearts through the Spirit. Help us to share it with others in all that we do. We pray that the goodness of Jesus, the righteousness of Jesus, would be evident in us. We pray for faithfulness. Please help us to be faithful to you, to be faithful to the people around us, to our spouses, to our children, to our parents, to our brothers and sisters both physically and in the church. Help us to be faithful members of your church. Help us to be faithful to your commands faithful to share the gospel to the lost. We pray for supernatural faithfulness. As we pray for gentleness, please give us the gentleness, the humility of Jesus. Father, amidst all of our different personality types, we pray for a transcendent gentleness. We pray for self-control, Please give us self-control. By the power of your Spirit in us, help us to control our thoughts, our tongues, our emotions, our actions, our words. Cut in every email we send, every social media post, every reaction to every circumstance. None of these things we confess come naturally to us, but we know that your spirit produces these things in us, so we ask for them now. May the fruit of your spirit be more evident in us today than yesterday, and tomorrow than today. Make us the people who are exuding, displaying, illustrating, demonstrating spirit-filled love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May it be so by the power of your Spirit in us. Father, thank you for blessing us with your message of hope and love today. With the Holy Spirit working in our hearts, we shall grow in our faith and ability to face unafraid each new day of our lives. How precious to us are your thoughts, O oh God! Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you that we can live in your light and walk in your truth. May the things that you have revealed in thoughts that we have shared today dwell in our hearts and stir us into action. We ask all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. And the continues fellowship, power, and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen.